Matthew's been home from the hospital uh, for a little while now, but we've had several short stays where we've had to go back for other procedures. So we've been home with IVs. We've got the antibiotics all complete, and now we have a nurse that comes twice a week to help change the dressing and to take the labs so that we don't have to drive to San Francisco just to get labs done. I got a text message uh, from somebody and they asked if they can friend me on Facebook. They had an important message they wanted to get to me. So of course I did and um, I read this message and I couldn't believe it. It, I, it was our son's donor's mother who was reaching out to connect with us. And she said she'd been following Matthew's story ever since suspecting that he was the recipient of her son's liver and kidney. We've been contacted by the Maggie and uh, we've opened up communication with her and we've invited her to our house today to meet with us and we can meet with her. We can sit down and hopefully have a better understanding of her family and her son and we can introduce her to our son and our family and hopefully that helps her get some closure with what she's been going through. You get lots nice. of stuff there, yeah. huh? cute, Billy. Um, we know he's 22 years old. He is a recent um, Army uh, vet. He did one tour. Uh, he was going back to college, and he, unfortunately he passed in a car accident um, back in June. For me, it's extremely important for people to understand that her son was not just a donor. He was not just our son's donor. Her son was a person and had a life, and just being a donor is just one part of it. I hope that she can find peace and mm -hmm. that uh, we have a good, a good meeting. Welcome. I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, yeah. Hi, welcome to our home. That's Christy. I'm Kelly. Hi. I knew I brought down tissues for a reason. <laughs> Here, come on in. Can you say hi? Tell Maggie thank you. How do you say thank you? Oh, he says so. Cool. The first one was liver and kidney, two year old male. The second half of his liver went to a 51 year old male. Oh, wow. wow. Okay. At Cal Pacific. His heart went to a 53 year old male at Cal Pacific. His lungs went to a 60 year old female at San Francisco, and his pancreas and his second kidney went to a 51-year-old male at Cal Pacific. Wow. He wanted to help people, and he helped in the greatest way possible. And he would absolutely have been completely for me coming down here and meeting you all. He has a whole future. He has a life that, that, that he get, hopefully will be able to take over and, and, and live this life that Brandon couldn't finish. I'm thankful for them that, you know, they are who they are and, you know, they've brought such a light to this. And the way that they care for each other and the way that they care for Matthew and just the feelings that they've given to me for my family and my son without even knowing us. I'm just very grateful to and thankful to now have them to be a part of my life. It was an amazing day. Um, it was nice to meet Maggie and hear about her family and hear about Brandon, the kind of man he was. And uh, we already knew who spe how special he was to us because of his gift to Matthew. We have new family members. Our family just grew. And we're very, very thankful and, and very blessed today.